Wait, hold on. Okay. Perfect. YouTube. I wasn't ready, you know. Back at our talk today. I don't want to start this talk. Is having a backup man and a backup woman in your life necessary? Jesus. I know there are many women that will say yes. Is that true? So hear this. What's this on your face? Is that your bed? Probably. Cool up like that? Cool up like good grass. It's literally straight and going up. Yeah, don't study like the good grass. So, the other day I lied down on my bed and Kenita James comes to me while in sleep and she says... No, you were, you were between wake and sleep, but what? Tell the story, you tell the story then. I heard a conversation on your radio about the Plan B thing. And then I realized it actually have a song. So I was just having a conversation with you. You didn't realize it had a song. You realized woman was coming in and they was talking about plan. The no, man no, and they come no. to talk. <laughs> no. Talk the truth. Talk the I truth. Am talk talking. the truth. I, but, but really focusing on that part. Okay. Yes. That part of women saying that they have a plan B man. And the justifications and all the in I between. could understand the justifications. I so could she... Kinda, I could kind of understand it. Kind of. I mean, I wouldn't do it, but I could I understand it. I understand it. So... <laughs> She then starts to weed into the conversations and... The conversation. It's one conversation. Well, it's more than one person calling and you was right, telling okay, more the okay, conversations. Okay, okay, okay. And starts to put it to me like, you know, the intent is there now. No, I was not. <laughs> I gone from zero to a thousand real quick. And it was so ridiculous. If all you know me. I had to stop him and say, yo, hold up. This is not really happening. I am not talking to you and telling you that how, oh, I, I had to let you know. I had to let you know because it's a conversation. It's the thought process of the individuals who are performing the But the thing is, it's not, it's not your wife doing it. So then why are you getting hot? Any woman that have a plan B in a marriage or in a serious relationship is a cheat. That is not a good woman. Fellas, turn tail and run. The song say the man does feel it in his spirit. As many does feel it in his spirit. It's not no man sticking around with no woman I mean, as I just think friends. I I know people who have friends, who have male friends. They don't have any benefits, but they're just a friend. Stupid dog. <laughs> Stupid dog. I is a man. And wait, I was wait, out wait. there. Wait, 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 wait. I'm being real. <laughs> If you okay, so look, 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 watch this, watch this. I'm betting you. Okay. Try this. Okay. Listen, stay quiet. I'll listen. Then. You as a woman who said that is my friend, or telling your husband, or husbands if you're listening, or boyfriends if you're listening, they say that is my friend and we just good. Dare them to pick up the phone, call the individual, and say this. Hey, me and so 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 not going good right now, and I need somebody to cheer me up. If you understand what I'm saying, I just, I just need to feel good at this point in time. Well, I Bet, know, of course that would... It no, was... if it's a real friend, that, 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 that is not even my thought. That person saying, what are you talking, what kind of shit, fair, what, what fair. kind of weirdness you calling me on? Fair, fair. I am 100% sure that man but or that woman, down, stay though, quiet, I'm going tell the story. It's not really happening though. That <laughs> man or that woman saying, bet, let we go, I come in. I, I am 100% okay, sure on. okay, that going on up Hold on, let me play devil's advocate here, right? With this whole conversation. Let me play Try devil's. it. Wait, let me play devil's advocate. Dear your wife, that's your friend, or dear your boyfriend, that's your friend. Call and say that now. Bet and see if things go up now. Now, here's facts, here's facts. You go get a jump kick. <laughs> he or she who doing the call, go get a jump kick. But go ahead. How am I supposed to have a serious conversation? I, no, no, I'm telling you the truth because and them things that's boy my skin, you know. I Watch, realize. look, I start to sweat in the AC, you know. Oh, wait, it, has some, it have a rag right there. Or oh, is it a jersey? No, you need to pick up your... Hmm. Is it a jersey? Yeah, okay. The Arnold jersey actually does live in the kitchen. But Go ahead, me. tell a story. Um, yeah, uh, let me play a devil's advocate here, okay? Mm -hmm. So, factually is that as a woman, a young woman, who is, you may be in a serious relationship. Let me just take myself out of this marriage for a second. Mm -hmm. And let's just say you and I, we are dating. Mm -hmm. Okay? We are serious, but we are dating. No, no. Just the whole lot. You can't be serious. We're dating. Okay. Be serious. We're dating. Okay. We're serious. serious. Right, we're right. dating. I would always tell any young woman, please do not put all your eggs in one basket. I would say that flat out. Because factually, factually, Anil, 
when we were dating, I didn't have it cap on, okay, is you and you alone, I have eyes for. Because, wait, let me finish. Let me finish. Because at the end of the day, woman, you need to know what you want. And I believe as a woman, you need to know what you want. Now, yes, there, Tell me you, you just listen and hear me out. Yes, the man that you're with, he does have qualities that you like, but they are also parts of the relationship that you're trying to tolerate. And really and truly, when you're courting, you shouldn't have to tolerate certain things in a man. You shouldn't have to go through that. You're done? I almost finished. Get you shouldn't point. have to go through that. So my point is, is have options. I'm not saying to be intimate with these individuals. That is not what I'm saying whatsoever. Period. Let's make that very clear. But have options of other friends that you can, you know, have a conversation with and see where that could go. Because at the end of the day... Oh God, let me see. Let me talk now. Oh God, because God. at the end of the day... You know, <sighs> it's not about no taking long and picking wrong. It is making a choice for your future. You done? Okay. Good. Now, <laughs> you cannot say in the same breath, I am serious about somebody and a relationship. And then you still have somebody on the side. When you're oh, quiet, stay quiet, quiet, stay quiet, stay quiet, allow you to talk. All right, when okay. you're courting, uh -huh. you would court more than one and you would go through a proper vetting process to know if you would get to the point if you're serious with somebody. You cannot just say you're serious with somebody and have somebody on the side. Then is the thing that's blow my brains. Okay. Okay. You cannot do that, period. You are unfaithful. You are I a am cheat. talking about serious without the whole being intimate part. You, know? you cannot. Today's society. Because to, actually, Anil, if, let me just take it back. Let me trot it back. In today's society, uh. the vetting process and the courting process, they just miss all of that and go straight into Correct. the intimate Correct, they go straight setting. into the intimate. And that's what all I'm talking about. All the time. Hold up, brother. That is what I am talking about. I am talking about flat out woman as a woman this is my perspective on it before you go and you lie down with anybody and say okay i see it well that person okay you're not you're not clearing up yourself okay that is exactly what i was saying all the time no you didn't say that you didn't anyway, say that before you, you get you rewind this shut up okay this is where you rewind <laughs> going let me just take myself out of this marriage for a second mm -hmm. and let's just say you and i we are dating mm -hmm. okay we are serious but we are dating <laughs> Before you do that, that's what I mean by serious. Because of course, Chanel, a serious relationship will have intimacy. Period. Stay quiet. I, I, it will have intimacy. Okay? Facts. Hands down. So I'm saying before you get into that and commit to that, because you are literally giving yourself now to that individual. Before you reach that stage, have different options. Do not just stick with one. That's just my opinion on it, because at the end of the so day- So basically you're saying the same thing I said no. I was always saying No, it. you were not. You said it different, and we just played the rewind, okay. and we know what you were All saying. All right, fine. I say, I say we just played the rewind. Yeah, I, you could say we used to talk kind of stupid. Yes. So basically you are saying, the same thing I said. Yes, you need the, to have options. Within you your things. vetting process, within your courting process, mm -hmm. have different options yes. and see different people. Yes. But go through the courting stage Before gets, minus the intimate stage yes. where very you, important. Would, you would be sure. I would say that's very important because you I believe when you when you when you make up your mind to be serious with somebody and you take that next step, part of you is with that person good so we clear we, we cross that hurdle that's why i believe so the next hurdle is mm. women that are in serious relationships or married having a plan b no i did that is the back and i'll pass it on the radio and it was quite and interesting that is the one like, every time what? i hear a woman open the mouth but and they say partner, that but no. their skin hot but their partners know how their partner could know that the partner probably doing the same stupidness too. Probably. And that is not a, that relationship destined to fail. To me, if a woman tells a man that she has an, another option as a friend. I gone. And have no Listen to me. On. The only plan B once in a relationship or married woman supposed to be is the plan B in the pharmacy. That's the only plan B you're supposed to have. I'm telling you the truth. And because then, listen to me. Wait, hold on. When you get married, let me, let me just, just let me just say this. When you get married. 
Never. I know, you don't tell me because so we done. So you don't have to worry about nothing. So we done, done immediately. There's no discussion in between. <laughs> we done. He's like <laughs> Because, here's my, here's my take on this. Mm -hmm. When you get married, mm -hmm. it's not just you're committing to the, the, the person you're getting married so you're to. You're committing to God. That's it. Yes, that's different. That's it. And because of that, Pack and that covenant. But here's the fact: many of the women that I heard talk about the plan, the man, it had nothing to do with intimacy. Do what I say. Pick up your phone in front of your husband and do that same thing and see if that plan, the man, is ready to ride you like a pony. Oh God, say it different now. To breathe in your face. To bake bread. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is the truth? A man will forever be a man. And then they might say, so what about in the reverse? If, if a fella, no. I talk to my exes. He she talks actually. to my exes as well. Does actually and does. I have zero intentions. You see this? She could pick up this anytime. I don't close no chat. Thousand chat up on WhatsApp. She can go through it anytime because I know my intent. I know I I am not going to get married to get divorced. And if any woman come around me to say she like and I like me and I like she, I gotta contribute to the house. <laughs> you have to like both of we and you have to be contributing to my household. I am not going and spend no money behind my outside woman. <laughs> I play mad or I go in mad. I can have what? I can be no, a millionaire and not win it. I need to stop you hurting my ears. No, because my blood just boiling thinking about it. hurting my ears now, like literally hurting my ears. I'm sorry. But what I, what I want to just add I'm on, bring it yeah, because it's not happening to you and it's not going to happen to you because at the end of the day, I mean, I've had experiences like that already. So I know what it's like. I know what it's like when you think that you have a friend as a male companion, as a friend. And watch that. But the friend has intentions. The thing about, and the, let, me just, let me say this. The thing about our relationship, she will have my phone, I will have her phone, and it's very open. Not open like our oh, just think open and it just anybody not that. Our lines of communication. Have to say it one more time. Not the open relationship, all you know, open relationships to be in today's weird society. It's not that. Full stop, let me get that out of the way. It's open with communication. I don't keep nothing from she, she don't keep nothing from me. Very open. And she is having a conversation on the phone one day. And then I realize with her ex. I and the phone is on speaker that I am here, and then all of a sudden it's, I love you. And then it's I like, want the bus out laughing. At the end of the day, you are the worst. But at yeah. the end of the day, what I am saying, stop it. <laughs> what I am saying is this, right? <coughs> what I am saying is this. How, how you felt about that, that day? <coughs> <coughs> I, I, I know he still loves me, I know. Uh -huh. Yeah. How did because we, we never we never went to that stage. Okay, we never okay, had okay, moments. okay. That's not the question. I'm Sorry, well, I know it's that's uh, not the I'm question missing, I'm asking. It's missing. How do you feel about what he said on that day? That's the question. I didn't feel any how. I felt normal. It didn't bother you to say that. No. This man. Really no. What 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 it what it what it what did bother me is that the fact of. It's something that's still there. Mm -hmm. So which means that if I encourage a conversation okay. or I continue something, it can lead to somewhere else. And I'm glad and you said that. I had to I had to make a decision, which was a hard decision because at the end of the day, I like the idea that I could have had a friend from the past back mm -hmm. in my life, but then I realized that having that friend back in my life might actually end my marriage. And, and that's my thing. And that's the thing. And I'd right to there. take that risk. So a lot of persons who encourage the conversations or keep the gaze out there. Now don't get me wrong. If a woman looking good and I watch you, she looking good, I tell my wife she looking real good. She's mm -hmm. sexy. Mm -hmm. If a man looking good, I say, yeah, yeah, thing. No, that's weird. Vice versa. I just can't say but Vice versa. <laughs> but the gaze, you see when you keep the gaze there too long yeah. and you start to lust, that is where you just start to creep in. He, and when you, you know yeah, he, he. You know he. You know he. he. Yeah. When he start to he. creep in, that has bring death to our relationship. And I, and I think... The gaze and the, the conversations and the, the little... The, no, mm -mm. here's the thing. I truly believe, though, Anil, if you and I did not have the relationship we have and the communication that we have, mm -hmm. it would be easy for him to be able to slip in and we would have regular conversations and it could lead from one thing to the next thing easily. Because at the end of the day, we are 
actually going back into time of reminiscing of things that used to be mm -hmm. and that's factual we the, the flesh is weak that will happen so for me you know what people are supposed to realize i would always realize? say you have to you see it's in front of your face like, don't pretend you know what people are supposed to realize well if you're sexy before you get married you'll still be sexy when you get married you know? and it was still a great white sword with a with with big ash gray pelting tackle but it's the gaze and but the you know, conversation that is so true. yeah I, like, you know, you think about it. You're good looking before you get married. When you get married, you stop being good looking. You're still good looking. Yeah, and, and, be, and being married does and, not. And understand that and people will still try to go no, shoot the shot. Yeah, this thing, right? Long time back in the, the golden days, mm -hmm. you would have noticed men would have a different respect for the wood, the, the the union called marriage. When they hear marriage, they have a different respect. Yes, Women so as well had a different respect. There's no respect for not, 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 anymore. Not, not all, but the majority. No, the majority. Then. I'm talking about like if you're looking at probably like five percent that you know. No, God but less. But when you wear society, society has changed it to that there's no respect when it comes to none. And, and and a lot of times women especially. I think we are at fault. Tend to lose the respect for marriage. Yeah, we do. And no, I don't get me wrong. Man, Paul, I didn't say. I'm not saying. I'm not taking all the blame away from men. Because most men is the ones who create that. Yeah, they do. They do. And they don't say do. most men now because this is the of, reason of, why of, feminist, of feminism I'm not, I'm not has there. been created is because of men who abused of, it. Of lately, this whole feminist act and this this way they portray it on the media it's allowing women well it's not number say it's allowing it's encouraging it's encouraging women mm -hmm. to just do all kind of thing haywire to what marriage supposed to be mm -hmm. and the thought process of marriage we, family I, and home i personally would love to go back to those days where all you do is take care of the house or the children and you know you go and you shop when you want you go to the spa when you want to live that kind of life i want that life please I want that life. Well, you should have married a rich man, me rich. Oh! <laughs> That's why we have our business together and we work. I don't go. I'm just. I, go, I will. I am not saying I'm not. I am not. I'm not trying to provide that where you could stay home and just mind homes. Your fault is the worst. I just. All you about water. I want to say nothing. Me rich. I know when you're rich. I just get by. No, we do. I just get by. But, and what I'm saying is, is that I would, if I had that opportunity, I would, I would definitely take it. So soon I'm not come, gonna, soon come. I would never fight that. Oh, I have to this and no this and that and the. No, I would, I would gladly take care of my husband, take care of the household, take care of the children, make more children, um, pay bills, Why? do, Why do the runarounds for you because at the end of the day, I truly appreciate what I have and and I and I take being a, a wife seriously do you know one of the reasons why i push you so hard well i think i tell you this before i think so yes yes i told you this before one of the reasons why i encourage my wife to do more and i want her around me right through to see what i'm doing and try and function on the levels that i function on Is we are forbid. married two becomes one and when two becomes one god forbid something happened to me yeah who's gonna provide yeah. Now, yeah, I have insurance, but how long insurance money going to last? Factually. She needs to understand that, okay, it happened. You decide you don't want no locho man in your life. I wonder how long we used to work out a long time, though. What's that? When, God forbid, something happened to the woman's husband. I think the brother... This is why Muslims... This is why Muslims... Married, married I don't know. To somebody else? This, is so why, this is why Muslims are I'm allowed to take more wives. Mm. Because a lot of times um, when husbands die or they go to war whatever the case may be they can't leave orphans out there so this is why some muslims here yeah, they allow that but you know now they change the whole thing up muslims log in and let me know if i are correct because this is what i know it to be um and this is why they have more than one wife but it brings me back to my what i was saying so i wanted to be able to function on that level where whatever we started to build she could continue to grow it but there's a possibility that the reason why a lot of women believe that they need to be the like wear the pants is because there are a lot of men who aren't wearing the pants anymore they are and they, therefore a lot of women in relationships with the marriage or serious relationship think that they need to have a plan b man for the departments that the main man cannot you know what does blow my brain you know what's blow my brain what 
if you mm -hmm. went through the proper vetting process with that individual people that's changing you know? no 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 people no, no, that's changing no, 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 no people that's changing yes 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 Ambition, drive, motivation is something you will know. see in somebody from job. Mm -hmm. Once you are with, once you are having the, the, the conversations that will drive the talk, and not just the talk, you are seeing the actions. You would know what that that person Boy, could bring forth. Happy. So you cannot watch me to tell me. Stay happy. quiet. You cannot watch me to tell me. I'm my arm. Women just do that because men don't provide. Where you see, no, you see, see it as a virtue. They do not fulfill certain said, departments. They, they just said financial is around no, financial side. No, I never said financial. They, they can't fulfill. provide for the families. Provide is not financially alone. What to you? What you feel is financially is only what women looking for? Kanita, I was talking I'm about... I'm asking you a question. Kanita, I was talking about you and myself with regards to picking up where I left off with providing yeah, yeah, for yourself for the farm. I was still there. So we went back to the part where I said, I truly believe women may be married or even in a serious relationship, have a plan B man to fulfill the areas that their main man cannot. For example. For example. Not everything is about financing. Not everything is about because they have women that in relationships that could get for themselves. They okay. don't need no man to pay nothing for okay, them. Okay, okay. Where's the your emotional side? Mm -hmm. Having conversations, mm -hmm. taking you out for dates, mm -hmm. wooing you from mm -hmm. time to time, make you feel good. Mm -hmm. It have men that can't do that. Okay. So and that to hold up, I would say, I would say this. If you didn't have the conversation and you didn't talk, so for example, I'm gonna put you in the hot seat. Put me in the hot seat. You, when I met you, you mm -hmm. are a totally different man. Let me tell you about this man when I met this man. This man was so soft-spoken. This man was everything. This man was like rainbows, butterflies, and oh my God, he used to take me to the moon and come back. I said, but like, I hit a pot of gold. And he ambitious. It's like, what? He was, he was no well-off man at that yeah, point in time. Things of rich, you know, status kind of man. He was not a status man, but... He working hard. I still have nothing wrong. Shut your mouth up. <laughs> yes, I, I know. This is what I'm trying to bring a point at. He was a status man. Mm. And it had nothing to do with his status or what, how much he was making. Mm. I just look at the fact that he's ambitious. Mm -hmm. He's well-spoken, well-dressed. Mm -hmm. Takes his time to talk to me. Mm -hmm. Everything. As soon as I get in. As soon as I get in proper. All of a sudden. Tell me when you're done. I say, but who is he? Tell me when you're done. Because I don't already, you're I don't done? already commit. So the, what I'm saying is, is that if I was a different thinking woman, if I was a uh -huh. different thinking woman, I would probably think like how the other women think. Of all right, but I don't have Anne. Yeah, yeah. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, she has real talk. Stop! Stay quiet. Anyway. Ugh. What was I was going to say? I don't know. Right. Shucks, man. So, I lose a shit heart, man. When getting with, a, with someone, Dama. life is about sales, and I'm a damn good salesman. You are. So I sold myself properly. Proper. I will do and say everything you need to hear. And then when we got together, I was still that individual, but there comes a point where the honeymoon stage needs to end and reality needs to kick in. But I didn't and know. where my wife was at that point in her life, she didn't care if Sunday fall on Monday and I am very ambitious and her energy would pull me back. So you need to get on the same wavelength as me because we now said we are in a committed relationship and based on being on that, you need to be on the same wavelength I mean, because two would so become far. one and when two become one, if I fall short, you need to pick up the so slack. And that is why reality, stop, stay quiet, stay quiet. Alice. And that is why reality had to kick in. Now back to the point with women. You, once you are going through your vetting process or your courting process, if you know the end, if you didn't do that and you move from all of that straight into the physical part, and now you want to say you never do it, you never get it but before because it was straight attraction. It had no courting, it had no vetting, it had none of that for the mere fact that you, woman, woman, woman or man, was just about the physical. Now that you're not I getting it, you're going totally outside faith. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're I wrong. I totally disagree with everything you just said. You're wrong. And why I totally disagree is because I live it. I live it. You are not 
even though I tell you about certain things that I want in the relationship, you do not change it to fit my narrative. You do not. And a lot of women... I deal with logic. If it's not making so sense... So this is what I'm trying to say. So stay with sense. me on this, right? Stay with me on this. This is the reason why a lot of women in this time prefer to just get a plan B. Because I'm making my own money, right? I turn in my own key. I am bummed for all of that with you. And I'm fed up of the conversation over and over how I want something to be. Wait, but Peter, mm -hmm. when I call Peter and I talk to Peter, yeah, Peter is done. giving me what I'm lacking. I'm going and jamming. And that know. is what it is. Now, I'm a different woman. I just drill it in, drill it in. So he does have no choice. Tell me. After you're done? months, shut up. <laughs> after months, even after nine years. It's little bit by little bit, he gets in better. Okay. But it don't have plenty of women with them patients. Okay. I have real patients. You're done? Mm -hmm. You're a doctor. Anyway, yeah. So, the woman who say, we must have a plan B. And the plan B is to pick up the slack. Right. And the plan A is it for this, stay quiet, stay quiet, yeah. stay quiet, it stay quiet. It have nothing quiet. to do with intimacy. Stay quiet, stay quiet. We just this established once in a committed relationship and in doing that, you're cheating, right? We established that early. So, here's our cheat. So, the plan B picking up the slack where the plan A leaving off, right? But plan so B, no more plan A, plan A, no more plan B. Stay quiet, plan, stay yeah? quiet right, now, Jesus, say plum. Plum. It's difficult. <laughs> so, you're done because Shaitan goes step in and it brings death to your relationship. And you fall back on your plan B. Do you know your plan B does not have the qualities as plan A? So, you're looking for a plan C now? <gasps> and then you're looking for a plan D and no! a plan EFG? Yes. Baby, yes, baby. Be this is why I'm saying there's no intimacy in the Listen relationship. Listen to me. It's Listen just to me. Friend. That's what that's what I understand. We established stay quiet. We established that the plan B is to pick up the slack where the plan A does be. It's definitely we, the hit up I am a man. <laughs> All men want to live. They want to bake bread. Right. So when Shaitan step in and death to the relationship happens, mm -hmm. you're gonna fall on your plan B because the plan A mess up. Right. Now the plan B only have this amount of qualities when the plan A have all of the others. You know you go and find a plan C for your plan B. Well, I want a big mic. Hence the reason I explained what I explained. Tell me. Anil, you have everything that I desire in a man. We talking about no, wait, what wait. You... I use myself as a reference okay. point, right? Uh, you have everything. I will not get a plan B because I understand the mindset of what a man is. Mm -hmm. I totally understand the mindset. Mm -hmm. So hence the reason I just drill it in of what I expect of you. That is you. A lot of women do not have that patience because it takes a lot of patience. Well, all right. They need to get a doctorate. <laughs> So they could deal with patients. To deal with that. So therefore, they will have the plan B of a man who they could have that communication with. No, don't get me wrong. According to what the woman and them say, they let their husbands or their boyfriends who they're serious with know about plan B. And no on, man, they don't call it plan B. No man would be comfortable with that. I'm sure not. I mean, no I mean logically, no man feels comfortable about because it. Because he but, does feel it in his spirit. But I'm pretty sure when he realizes the nature of the relationship, he will go, he and, will get go and get a plan B. B himself, and that is well. where the relationship would fall. And that and is that why is people where... don't believe in marriage anymore. They don't believe in marriage anymore. They don't believe in that. This is a stupid belief. And I call it a stupid belief, is my opinion on it. We, I don't need to marry you to prove that I'm committed to you. That is oh! not, that is the most dotish mindset to have so you about just, marriage. So you just living in sin? That's, that's not, that's not right. You so, just living in sin? So. The man getting all the milk and eating buying the cow? There, there's so much that happens when you're intimate with someone. I don't want to go into that conversation particularly. <sighs> But you have to understand your giving of yourself every single time. And as a woman, you should have a standard of, okay, yeah, we committed, but where's my future? Mm. Marriage is mm. about future. It's about mm. long term. It's about building, growing together, getting mm. closer to mm. God, all of that. Mm. So mm. It, it's re I, I really don't believe in that mindset. And I believe the reason why we are stuck with that plan, the option is based on one in a marriage most women do not have the patience to deal with men mm -hmm. that are lacking the things that they would want mm -hmm. and they're not willing to put in the work mm -hmm. to have those conversations over and over and over again because yes you do have to have it over and again and then 
<laughs> in a serious relationship, the man or the woman, they, they're just not ready to take that next step to marriage because they don't have a significant belief of what marriage can provide for them. You know, this so is one of the reasons it why, is what it is. why courting it's really is important. important and going for counseling before you get married. Having that sit down with somebody that you could confide in because life hard, marriage is another job. It is. And if you are not, a lot of persons not willing to work as you say. Yeah. Once, you, once you're willing to work, it will work. Watch now. I would say it in my chest. I just want any walk in no, this why relationship. She walk, she's walk, she's walk, I just want any walk. Watch out, all your eyes are handful of them. But no, 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 no. But I, you know, you know. You know how much women ask me how do I do it? I don't know how I just do it too. Because my wife's I'm, special to it. I am, but I'm we not We are like match you. made in heaven. But I'm, I'm not like If you. your sister see this, your sister will say, yeah, Kanita, you have plenty to deal with. She knows has plenty to deal with. And I know it's... You know what she told me last night? What? She said, Kanita, you know your husband is provoke you on purpose. Yeah. Said, yeah, I know. I just do it for spite, but I this other girl is like... Oh. <laughs> you see why he's... You see why I was in the relationship, I was violent? No, listen to me. When, when, when she acting up for things that don't make sense, I just chop it and I just build my own. Just understand this. Men, it be funny. Men though. that are listening on to this, or women are listening on to this, that has a, a man in their life like myself, because I know that the roles do switch. There are women like Anil, and there are men like me, and vice versa. Please, I beg you. If you know that you do this on purpose, it will be funny though. Like, please like, like, do not, because that to me that's a form of abuse. Okay, that's like freaking mental abuse. I don't, I don't, I don't be loud. I don't be violent. No, be he's and provoking. Be he does that. He giggles. It is provoking. It provokes your spirit, and it's not okay because <gasps> it's very stressful. Now I understand you dealing with it in your own way. Yeah, because you, I, then, I'm not allowing you to stress me out. Right, but then you have to come back, and and yet again, this is why woman out there or man out there going and getting Plan B is because you have to come to an understanding where. Yo, it's not cool. It's not helping the relationship. It's not helping my partner. It's more, it's more making them feel belittled, and it's emotionally breaking them. So when they reach that point where they're emotionally affected by your words, your actions, or how you don't take things seriously from time to time, they will go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why I will always talk out ears. So long and short of this video, <laughs> Plan B is this. That is what plan is. That's what you're Yeah, yeah. And uh, we have to really get our shit out to you know people over people both feminine or That is what plan B is, and we're not about no plan B. So have conversations. It's not gonna be easy. Sit down and talk with your significant other. Find out the likes, find out the dislikes. Fellas, I know sometimes they might be repeating themselves over and over and over and over. Just say plump. Just know it have men who just really express themselves a lot to it. Yes, I know they do. And I, I was going to say women too. And yeah. women, it women have some men. And you need men to have are, patience for the men who talk a lot too. And you might think it girly, but men's no. mental health is a big thing. And mm -hmm. a lot of men don't talk because a lot of women don't allow men to express themselves. Exactly. And they look at this as a sign of weakness. weakness. It is not. It so is that's not. why most men keep things to themselves. Like I would be going through stuff. And I just wouldn't say nothing. Yeah, I would just stay believe... quiet and scroll. Yeah, and then I would believe... figure it out myself. But not not much men could do what I do. And you want to know, it's interesting. I, I notice when he does it. He has a lock off where he would lock off the whole family. Everybody. And I just Every... and I, give a shit and out I in know, the head. I know that's not healthy for the family. So that's why I am the way I am with And him. then she can walk on. And I'll come, yeah. hug yeah. him up, kiss yeah. him up, you know, yeah. try to create a conversation around it because I, I recognize it and this is, that's the work in the relationship, yep. you have to take your time. Yep. And yep. Yep. In, yep. in all of, in doing all of that, you are going to be met with disappointments because the person may not be ready to accept your mm -hmm. love at that point in time. Mm -hmm. Don't uh, try your best because it, I've been through it a lot where I, I tell myself I'm so stupid. Oh gosh, Kanita, there you go again, trying to force your man to do something he don't want to do. And you might talk down to yourself. Mm -hmm. Try not to do it. Um, that's the devil, I would say. Just All the time, you just want to play with your brains. Make you feel like you're small. Inadequate. You're not small. You're, you're not small. You're doing, you're doing more than anybody does 
when it comes to trying to make a relationship work. Correct, that's right. I don't think people put work into relationships as they used to long time. Nope. So long and short, plan B nothing. Exactly. And I don't want the video go on long, long. Hello, I feel, I feel like, like I feel like okay, let me guess. I feel it's like forty something minutes. Go check. You sure? I think so. Let me see. I feel it's like about forty something minutes. I wouldn't be able to see that thing blocking it. We'll yeah. go and check now. I now. can't see this thing. Just take it off of the tripod. All right. You don't well, want to see we go. Bye bye. <laughs>